Are you ready to take your web development to the next level using AI? You've come to the right place. Today, we'll be harnessing the incredible power of Blockade Lab Skybox AI tool to create something truly magical. Get ready to be blown away. So, here's what the final website will look like. A cool portfolio theme with an interactive 360 background. We're gonna use this awesome thing called Skybox Lab from Blockage Labs to create the 360 image. There'll be hot spots you can click on to check out different experiences, and a navigation bar at the top with a simple hover effect. Head over to Skybox Blockade Lab's website. I will have the link below. This AI tool allows us to create custom skyboxes with just a prompt. The 360 images can be used in website or even games using Unity or Unreal Engine. In the prompt, let us type, sci-fi world in the night, or whatever you like. And now click generate. This is the Blockade Labs generated image for my prompt. It's looking pretty nice. It has the sci-fi look and is also nightlight themed. This is the downloaded image. It is just a static 16 to 9 image. Now, we are set to begin coding the website. Before we start, please subscribe to my page for more content like this. We are going to start this project from scratch, so that you can follow step by step. The node version we will be using is 16.13.2. Let us create a React app, and name it AI Skybox React. Once it is done installing, cd into the directory. Before we start, we need to install a few more dependencies. The first one is Tailwind CSS. It is a utility-first CSS framework. It is super lightweight and incredibly easy to style your website. We are going to use the Tailwind CLI installation. Let us copy and install this. Next, we need to initialize the Tailwind CSS. Once that is done, we need to copy the configuration file and paste it into the Tailwind config.js file. And finally, we need to copy the Tailwind directives and paste them into the app CSS file. Make sure to remove all the existing code here. Let's remove some of these files that we don't need. and we need to clean up the index.js and the app.js file. Finally, Let's move the app CSS file to the index.js file. If we do npm start now, it should build and show an empty white screen. Let us add a few more dependencies. First is the React Router DOM. This core package contains standard components and functionalities to implement routing in React applications. The next is Panelum React. Panelum is a lightweight, free, and open source panorama viewer for the web. You will need to use the force command if there is a conflict. You can check out their repo for more details, I will have the link below. If we do npm start now, it should compile with no errors. The website should still show empty white screen. Let's create a few folders to organize the project. First, is the component folder, 
second, is the image folder and finally, the page folder. Make sure to put all the 360 images you created here. Next, let's create the navigation component. Under the component folder, create the file nav.js. We'll create a boilerplate page for now. Open the index.js file and import the nav component. And have it display in the root render. In the nav.js file, let's create a div container. In the class name, we need, absolute position, background to black, top 0, left 20, shadow to medium, background opacity to 60, height to 80 pixels, flex, justify center, width to 900 pixels, bottom radius rounded to large, Z index to 10. You should see a black transparent box at the top now. Next, we need an H1 tag with the My Portfolio content in it. The class name should have Top 10, Text to 5XL, Text to White, Font Weight to Black, Flex, Justify Center, Self Center, and Margin Right to 10. The My Portfolio heading should be visible in the nav box. We need to import the link and use location from React Router DOM. Let's create a constant variable location to hold the use location objects. The use location is a hook that returns the location object that represents the current URL. Now, we will need to create another constant variable. Let's name it nav item. This will hold all the navigation menu items details. Like label and the URL, we're going to have the following pages, home, about, work, and contact. Next, we need to create a nav element. The class name should have text to white, text size to 2xl, flex, justify center, and item center. Now we will need a map array function to loop through the nav item object we created above. Inside the map array, we will need a link component. We will need to set the props from the item. In the index.js file, we will need to import browser router from React Router DOM. We need to wrap it with nav and app in the renderer. We should see the navigation items in the header box now. In the nav.js file, we're going to create two more const variables. One is nav style, and the other is nav style selected. The nav style selected variable will be applied to the menu item that matches the URL. In the link component, we need to create a condition for those class variables. If the location path name equals the map array item, apply the nav style selected. Now you can see the menu home is selected. If we click on different items, that item that represents the URL will be selected. These menu items don't navigate to the pages, but we are going to fix that next. Let's create the pages for the navigation. Under the pages folder, please create the following files about JS, contact JS, home.js, and work.js. Just add a simple boilerplate code in there to define the pages. In the app.js file, we need to import routes and route from React Router DOM. We also need to import all the pages here including the navigation component. We will remove the navigation import in the index.js file. Let's set up the routes for these navigation pages. In the app.js file, we need to call the routes component. Inside the routes component, we need to call route for each page. It needs to have the path and element props. The navigation should be working now. Clicking on the menu item should navigate to its specific pages. Now, let's create the 360 interactions for the home page. In the home.js file, we need to import use state and pan alum. We also need to import the 360 images. Let's create a use state current scene and set current scene. This holds the current 360 image. 
we will set fantasy night as the default state. Create a div container with the class name as the height as screen height and flex display. Now let's call the pan alum components with these props width to 100%, height to 100%, image set to current scene state, yaw to 300, hfov to 110, auto load, auto rotate to minus 5, compass set to true, show zoom control to false, and mouse zoom to false. We need to create a hotspot trigger to switch different images. We will need to call the panelum hotspot with these props. Type equals custom. Pitch equals minus 10. And yaw equals minus 120. We need a handle click listener for the hotspot. The set current scene will toggle between the Fantasy Night and Fantasy Cave 360 images. We should see the 360 interactivity on the home page. You can use the mouse to click and rotate the image. The image also auto-rotate when there is no user interactions. When you click on this hotspot, a different image will load. You can toggle full screen as well for the 360 interactivity. There is also a compass on the bottom right to show the direction you are facing. Alright folks, that's a wrap for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful and had a good time. Drop me a line in the comments and let me know your thoughts. Thanks for tuning in, and make sure to stay tuned for more cool stuff.